Fulbright is a fun exhibit where visitors draw with colored bolts, but it's also an exhibit where people get into the idea of being creative, expressing themselves, and um, playing with tools and real materials. It started with uh, an idea. We were in a brainstorm and we were trying to think of ways for visitors to use tools in creative ways while also expressing their creativity. And we came up with the idea of maybe people could draw with bolts. We had kind of like an initial playing around with bolts. We decided we wanted you to screw them into something, but then, and that the heads would be colored, but we actually went through multiple iterations, different ideas of how we were going to get that color to stick to the bolts. When we first started, we used metal bolts that we were trying to dye different colors, but eventually we landed on nylon bolts. And once we landed on nylon bolts, we needed to decide how to color them. We at one point tried dipping them in rubber. The rubber came off almost immediately. We tried spray painting them. That was okay, but you would see at the bottom of the bin, there was all these like scraps of spray paint, so that obviously wasn't working. We eventually came up with the idea of dyeing the bolts, but it still took a few versions to figure out how to actually make them be colored and stay colored. We first made a prototype that was on a drafting table. That one had metal inserts that were threaded on the inside put into holes that were manually drilled and it was then decided because it was very popular and not everyone could get to it to try and make a larger one. The one you see behind me uh, was made with plastic sheets that were drilled holes into them with our CNC machine so everything is perfectly lined up and perfectly straight and then we proceeded to build the structure that holds it up. Visitors definitely engage in different ways. Little kids are learning how to use their fine motor skills, so they're learning how to screw in the bolts into the bolt bright. Bigger kids like to make images or pixelated images, or they like to spell their names. There's something we really like to see in exhibits at NYSAI is where one person makes something and then somebody else changes it to make it their own. And this exhibit is like a prime example of that, where you see somebody write half a word, somebody finishes it, somebody makes a flag, and then that flag changes from country to country over the course of a couple days. It's a super awesome experience where people can kind of like be part of a whole thing that we're making that's ongoing at NYSAI.